Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 26th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the group by clause and the group by clause as the name suggests is used for uh, grouping identical data into groups, right? And uh, you know, uh, it's used with the select query and uh, you know, if you've got your where clause uh, in the select query then you know, you must make sure that the group by follows the where clause and if you've got order by in your query then you know, group by has to precede the order by. So if you've got all three then the sequence in which you should have these clauses is you should have where first and then group by and then the order by clause at the end, right? And uh, we'll understand how the group by works uh, through examples and you know, it can be a little tricky to uh, you know, uh, be comfortable with in the beginning, but you know, we're going to check out really simple applications. So, you know, I'm sure that by the end of the tutorial, you'll guy, you'll understand the group by clause perfectly. So, the syntax of group by, as I mentioned, you know, if you've got all three uh, clauses, then you know, the sequence. That's that's something that you have to be careful about. You know, that has to be the sequence. You know, where and then group by and then order by, and the first part of the query is is pretty simple. You know. Uh, you have your select keyword and then the column list and from and the table name. So let's uh, see some examples uh, of group by in the MySQL environment now. So I've got my workbench and uh, for this tutorial what I have done is I have created another table and uh, the name that I've given to the table is tutorial, right? And it has a little bit of information about some of the tutorials that I've uh, recorded and shared on YouTube and uh, not all, but some. And, you know, I've recorded tutorials on three subjects and uh, the subjects are shell programming and C and SQL. So let me show you the structure of the table and uh, then we'll talk about it a little bit. So the name of the tutorial as a uh, name of the table as I said is a tutorial and I'll uh, execute the query to show you guys the fields that I have in the table. So ID is one field and uh, this field holds uh, you know numbers to represent the tutorials and uh, then I've got the title field that holds the title or the name of the tutorial and then the subject that is the you know uh, subject to which the tutorial belongs. So if it's a C tutorial then the subject would be C. If it's a, if it's a shell programming tutorial then the subject would be shell programming and uh, duration you know this is a decimal field and uh, you know this is the duration in minutes so you know if it's 4.5 it means 4 minutes and 30 seconds and then the upload date or the you know it's it's a date field and you know I have chosen three values for this field so all SQL tutorials uh, you know have the same upload date and all C tutorials have the same upload date and all shell programming tutorials have the same upload date. So um, I'll show you guys the rows that I have in the table. I've also inserted some data in it and uh, select star from tutorial would be the query that I would use to see the data. So you know this is this is all the information that I have put in the table. So there are some some tutorials that belong to SQL and some tutorials that belong to C and some tutorials that belong to shell scripting. And uh, you know I've also populated the duration and upload date fields. And you know another thing that you must uh, pay attention to is that the upload date for all SQL tutorials is the same, and that is 8th August 2013. The upload date for all C tutorials is the same, that's 4th April 2013 and the upload date for all S, S, uh, shell scripting tutorials is also the same which is uh, you know, 1st January 2013, right? And there's nothing else to note in this uh, table and uh, what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to try to find out the number of tutorials I have for each subject, right? And uh, uh, you know just think about it I want to you know find out the number of tutorials I have in each subject so I would have to first create groups of subjects right so I would put uh, all the SQL tutorials in one group and I would put all the C tutorials in one group and all the shell scripting tutorials in one group and these groups would not be created within the table but when you you know pull out information from the table when you see uh, the results in the result set you know they can be arranged into groups at that time and you can see you know the arrangement the group arrangement uh, you know in the result set so we're going to find out the number of uh, tutorials that we have in each group so we'll have to use the count function and the count function is an aggregate function and I haven't 
you know discussed it yet but uh, i th i thought that you know i would discuss it when we you know discuss all the other aggregate functions but uh, you know we'll use it now and it's really simple there's uh, hardly anything in it to understand so i'll type in select first and uh, then the subject field because you know we want to see the uh, subject names as well and then i'll type in the keyword count and within parentheses i'll type in asterisk right so this is going to return the number of records uh, you know that the result set is going to get to us and uh, on the next line i'll type in the keyword from and then the name of the table which is tutorial and on the next line i'll type in group by and then i'll type in uh, the field on which i want the groups to be created and that in this case would be subject and I'll put in a semicolon at the end. And when I execute this query, I see that, you know, I have uploaded eight tutorials on C and four tutorials on shell scripting and five tutorials on SQL. Well, in reality, I've uploaded, you know, a lot more, but uh, these are all the uh, rows that I have in the table at the moment. So the count star function, I hope, you know, you guys are not confused about it. It just helps us, you know, calculate the number of records that are present in each group, right? So first, the select star query was executed then the groups were clubbed together and sorry the tutorials were clubbed together into groups and then the number of rows that were you know put together in each group were returned uh, you know uh, through the count, count star function and uh, next if i want to find out the duration of uh, each playlist right so the way i'm going to do that is again i'm going to group by subject but this time I'm going to use another aggregate function, not the count star function, but the sum function, right? And uh, I'll sum on the duration field, right? And when I execute this query, I see that the you know duration of the playlist on C is 48.17, uh, and the duration on of of the playlist on shell scripting is 16.88, and the duration of the uh, playlist on SQL is 25.55 and again you know I I didn't do anything fancy it's pretty simple I've just used this function and we haven't seen this uh, in this course and we'll be having tutorials on aggregate functions and you know I'll talk about count and sum and some more aggregate functions in that tutorial but for the time being just know that this adds numbers together so the groups again were created on the subject field and uh, you know the values that are present for each record uh, in the duration field those values were added for each group right and then the values were displayed in the result set so i hope uh, the group by clause is clear to you guys and in case you have doubts you can send me messages and or you can comment on the video and uh, i'll try to reply and uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll see you in the next one in which we'll discuss uh, something interesting and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you soon